Weather with Chief Meteorologist Stephen Bowers. Right, this fall like weather has been very pleasant today. At least I think so. But see, here's the catch. When, when the temperature drops, the humidity goes up. When the temperature goes up, the humidity drops. This becomes an issue tomorrow. So the National Weather Service has issued a fire weather watch for tomorrow. This is effective between 11 a.m. and 9 p.m. for just about all of us here on the western slope. This is a precursor to the red flag warning, so this is likely to be upgraded to a red flag warning, and I'll bet you it happens before 10 o'clock tonight. So this means weather conditions are favorable for fires to start and spread rapidly. As I mentioned, the humidity drops back off to less than 15 percent, and wind gusts tomorrow can go up to around 35 miles per hour. And again, this is happening as we're warming back up. Today we've hit only 81. Tomorrow we're going to best that by at least 10 degrees as we climb back toward 92 degrees around Grand Junction. That's my forecast high. Of course, it's a nice comfortable start to the day. We'll have another round of 40s and 50s for lows. By 8 o'clock, we're warming to the middle 60s and then middle 70s are in the forecast by 10 o'clock and then it's low to mid 80s by about noon and then we warm right up into those lower 90s uh, throughout the afternoon. So we're warming again and this sets the stage for country jam. Now we've got some raindrops and even some lightning bolts on the forecast for Thursday and for Friday. Thursday, it's just a few showers or thunderstorms. Most of the area will end up staying dry. Friday may be the opposite, however. This is the day when we'll have the more numerous scattered showers and thunderstorms and there will be some dry spots for sure but there are going to be some areas that get some heavy rain and it's not so much the rain that causes a problem out at country jam it's the lightning that concerns me remember if you can see lightning or if you can hear thunder you are in danger of being struck and you need to move inside as quickly as you can you notice the temperatures they're up on the high side 94 on thursday 86 on friday you can thank the rain for that cooler weather but then saturday goes back in the other direction and the temperatures go right back up into the lower and middle 90s. So let's talk about that chance for rain. Here we are Saturday 6 a.m. and you notice our Thursday from 6 a.m. to noon you notice that it's mostly quiet. Now by lunchtime or so you start noticing some showers and storms popping up over the higher terrain mainly but you see we're mostly dry here in the valleys. Keep going through the afternoon and into the evening. There you go. They start filling in those valleys and again scattered showers and storms are kind of where we're at. So basically if you see green, we're fair game, but that doesn't necessarily guarantee that you're going to have rain at this time. This tries to fade away. I think it lingers through midnight and then fades through the night and then on Friday we start again on a mostly dry note but then by lunchtime scattered showers and thunderstorms are picking up and these will be around and I think they're going to be a little bit more common around the area on Friday into the evening and then overnight they'll clear and then they're gone for the weekend. I want to show you this visible satellite. The visible satellite is literally a snapshot from outer space and it shows our clouds really well, but it needs the light of the sun to reflect off those clouds to show them. You see some other areas, these little patches of white like up here in the Park Mountains and uh, right here in the Elk Mountains and even up the Sawatch Mountains right in here. Those are actually, you see how they're not moving at all? Those are snow caps in the mountains. So here we are in the middle of June and we still have lots of snow caps in the central and northern mountains right now. There are a few showers in some of those clouds out of along front, the front range and then big storms firing from Minnesota all the way down through Kansas. We told you last night that would happen. That's from the cold front that brought this cooler weather. It's still 78, a little hazy looking outside and we're going to cool gradually. We might be able to make it up into the 80s in the next couple of hours. I'm betting on more cooling though and we're going to slide on down through the upper 70s here between now and about 8 o'clock and then our lows by morning mostly are going to be in the low to mid 50s with 30s and 40s in our cool spots including around Cortez and then tomorrow it's mostly 90s lower 90s upper 80s in the cooler spots and then 70s and 80s from northwestern Colorado to the mountains. Here's your seven day forecast and it shows us that warming to 92 on Wednesday to 94 degrees on Thursday and then with the increase in scattered showers and thunderstorms for Friday I do expect it will cool on back to about 86 degrees. That cooling is also short lived and it's going to be a little bit more humid than today's cooling, so it's not going to be quite as comfortable. But then the weekend warms right back up and we're already flirting with 100 degrees by Sunday and we're heading toward 100 by Monday and especially by Tuesday around Grand Junction. Montrose, you're getting warmer too. Upper 80s are in your forecast tomorrow and Thursday. Thursday comes with a chance for a few showers or thunderstorms and then scattered showers and thunderstorms are becoming increasingly likely for Friday. But remember, scattered 
that's the key word there because that means some of us are going to stay dry. And the weekend is dry with upper 80s to lower 90s and we're climbing through the 90s through Monday and Tuesday. Delta, you're looking at lower 90s for tomorrow and Thursday. Thursday comes with that chance for a few showers. Scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast for Friday with a high of 86. We're dry with low to mid 90s over the weekend. And in Cortez, you're close to 90 degrees both tomorrow and Thursday. You have a chance for a few showers and thunderstorms on Thursday. Scattered showers and thunderstorms are in Friday's forecast with a high of 84 and then we'll dry out and warm up into the lower 90s this weekend.